What's up everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. So I got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus here and I received a few DMs and I watched a video from Saki Tech. He made a video about this, about the Galaxy Note 10 Plus having a 120 hertz display can be tricked to having a 120 hertz display. And he tested it and a lot of people hit me up and said, Easy, can you test it? Can you see if the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, uh, Galaxy Note 10 has 120 hertz display. Well, there's an app float down there that's claiming to force the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy Note devices to 120 hertz. Well, let's go ahead and put it to the test and see what it's all about. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I got three devices here. I have the Razer Phone 2. This phone here has 120 hertz display. I have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This device has a 60 hertz display. I have the OnePlus 7 Pro. This phone has a 90 hertz display. Now, we already know that both of these devices here, the Razer Phone 2 and the, uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro has the displays. Well, we already know that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a 60 hertz display, but they got an app floating out there that's claiming that you can push the device to 120 hertz. All right, so let's go and talk about this for a second. In order for this to work, you have to download the app from the Play Store called Activity Launcher. All right, so from the App Store, download the app that's called Activity Launcher. That's one thing. Second thing, your device has to be on Android 10 with one UI 2.1, all right? And that's, that's another prereq. The third thing is that your display has to be on 1080p plus, so uh, full HD plus in order for this to work. Just like the Galaxy S20 and S20 Ultras, it has to be on 1080p uh, full HD plus in order for the 120 hertz to work. Okay, so we got all that out the way. That's the prereq. You have to download the app, make sure that uh, your device is at 1080p, and when you open up the app, all right, when you open up activity a launcher, you have to search for smoothness. So, <laughs> so motion smoothness, this is what you have to search for in this app. So when you open up uh, uh, motion smoothness, there it is, right? Just like the Galaxy S20, it tells you you could go from 60 hertz to 120 hertz. And as you can see, I press 120 hertz refresh rate. As you can see right there, the app is saying that you can uh, turn this device into 120 hertz. Okay, boom. And then once you do that, just hit apply, and boom, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus should be at 120 hertz, right? Okay, so let's test it. All right, so y'all guys know I've tested displays before. I use display testers and stuff like that. So let's go on the testing. I go to my display tester here. I got the, the OnePlus 7 Pro, 90 hertz. As you can see, it's uh, fluctuating between 90 hertz and going up and down. So this is the display test right here. Can I let y'all guys see that right there? 90 hertz, as you can see. Okay, right here, I got the same display test. And guess what? 60 hertz, not 120 hertz, 60 hertz. All right, so this is, um, the Razer Phone 2, 120 hertz. All right, so as you can see, all three devices, all right, and let's go on and do this here, all right, so y'all guys can see this. Let's see if I can turn the brightness up just a little tab on this device so we can get a good clarification on that. All right, so this is a display test I always use on this uh, YouTube channel to be proof positive on uh, people claiming this and claiming that. So this app right here, uh, shows you the refresh rate in real time. And as you can see in real time, uh, and you can see that it's fluctuating from 30 hertz going all the way up to 50 hertz, I'm um, 50 frames per second and stuff like that. It's 120 hertz display, all right, what, uh, 120 frames per second on the Razer Phone 2. This is proof positive. As you, if you, when you look at the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, again, it's a 60 hertz display. It came out as a 60 hertz display. 
and you can't manipulate it. It is what it is. As you can see, the refresh rate on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is 60 hertz, 60 frames per second. As you can see, it's fluctuating as objects move along the screen. As you can see, they are OnePlus 7 Pro. Again, a 90 hertz display, 90 frames per second, and you can see it's fluctuating also. So when, when apps claim to do something, we test it. I'm the tech preacher. We go test it out and see what it is. A lot of people, some people hit me up and say, easy, could you test it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So when these rogue apps hit the app store, sometimes they be fooling people. And this app right here is fooling people. You cannot get 120 hertz out the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is a shame that these apps are in the app store and they are not right. Uh, I would tell anybody, that uh, that's thinking about you know download this app, please be advised that this app is not truthful. This is a rogue app. This app does it does not work. All right. So for everybody that uh, believe that you could turn your Galaxy Note 10 Plus uh, display to 120 hertz, you are sadly mistaken. Now don't get me wrong. The, the the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a fantastic phone. I love the display, I love the refresh rate. 60 hertz works great for me, as far as gaming and everything in between. But don't fool yourself with these crazy apps that's in the app store claiming that they could give you something that's not true. This app is false. This app need to be pulled from uh, the app store. It's totally misleading. And uh, so Google, if you're watching this video, go to the investigate this app Again, it's saying that this device could be on 120 hertz. And I'm gonna go back to the app again. It's claiming a hundred high refresh rate, 120 hertz. As you just saw with this display test, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does not have 120 hertz. You cannot manipulate it. This is not software that can be manipulated. Uh, so this is a, a definitely no-go. I wouldn't trust this app. Uh, I would tell anybody to go in on and uninstall this app and report this app for misleading information because you cannot get 120 hertz on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. <sighs> Don't you know that everything can be tested? It's the crazy how we can test this stuff to give you guys proof positive on what's good and what's bad, definitely in the Android space. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solution, AKA the Tech Preacher. I wanna give a huge shout out to Saki Tech. He made the video about it, uh, but I'm just bringing it a step further and testing it on, uh, uh, on this video. See you guys on the next video. Peace.